Intel's chief AI officer Sachin Katti has quit after just six months in the top role to join Sam Altman's OpenAI, the hottest, most ambitious and most compute-hungry AI lab on the planet. In our curtain raiser on front page, a major talent earthquake in Silicon Valley. Intel's chief AI officer Sachin Katti has quit after just six months in the top role to join Sam Altman's OpenAI, the hottest, most ambitious and most compute-hungry AI lab on the planet. And he's actually not just joining for a side project. He's actually joining to build the compute infrastructure for AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. Clearly, the race for talent, compute and AGI is accelerating and OpenAI wants the best in the world at the heart of it. This story actually connects the dots between Intel's struggle, OpenAI's trillion dollar ambitions and the tectonic shift in global AI talent movement. Sachin Katte is actually one of the most respected minds in networking, edge computing and AI systems design. An IIT Bombay graduate, a Stanford professor for more than a decade, founder of multiple deep tech startups and one of the sharpest voices in wireless systems and machine learning at the edge. Intel hired him to lead its future, literally, as chief technology and AI officer. He was actually supposed to shepherd Intel's comeback in AI hardware. Instead, well, you guessed it right, he's leaving. Katti was promoted earlier this year by Intel's new CEO, Lip Bhutan. Such, Sachin ran Intel's network and edge division, led 5G initiatives and shaped the company's AI first product roadmap. But the reality is actually this. Intel is struggling. It missed revenue goals on Gaudi AI chips. It is behind Nvidia and AMD in performance. Its foundries still haven't landed a major AI customer. And hyperscalers are building their own silicon. AI labs are designing custom accelerators. And Intel announced a new 160 GB energy efficient GPU at OCP 2025. But the market wants scale, not prototypes. And with Katti leaving now, it is not a good look at all. Especially when Intel is trying to prove it can win the next decade of AI hardware. OpenAI president Greg Brockman said, well, he is incredibly excited, end quote, to work with Katti because here is the mission. Build the infrastructure that powers AGI as OpenAI is no longer just a model company. It is designing custom chips, partnering with NVIDIA, AMD and Broadcom, building multi-cloud clusters and signing unheard of commitments. The $1.4 trillion over eight years is what we meant. This is what OpenAI actually plans to do. Build mega data centers, develop custom silicon, push frontier models and scale consumer plus enterprise AI. For all of that, they need a system architect who lives and breathes large-scale compute. And Katti fits that role perfectly. And here's his post on X. Excited for the opportunity to work with Greg, Sam and the OpenAI team on building out the compute infrastructure for AGI. Grateful for the tremendous opportunity at Intel leading networking, edge computing and AI. End quote. Well, this is the first time an Intel AI chief has publicly said the word AGI as a motivating factor for leaving. That says, well, pretty much everything. This move is symbolic. AI labs are now bigger magnets than big tech. Big tech. Talent is flowing from chip makers to model labs. Compute is the new battleground. And whoever controls the chips, clusters and power controls the future. OpenAI is building a deep bench, recruiting top tier engineers from NVIDIA, Google, Tesla, Intel, Academia. And unfortunately, Intel faces a talent drain when it needs strength. So this departure intensifies questions around Intel's competitiveness in AI. And here's what actually makes this story even more compelling for India. Yes, Sachin Katti is an IIT Bombay alumna. 
which is basically another Indian technologist now shaping the next breakthrough in artificial intelligence at the world's most watched AI company. From IIT Stanford to Intel, now to the heart of OpenAI's AGI program. India actually continues to be the talent engine for the global AI race. So what does this really mean? Well, Intel loses a key strategist. OpenAI gains a heavyweight technologist. And as a result, the AI talent war intensifies. The AGI race gets a new architect. So, when the smartest people leave legacy positions to build AGI, we pretty much know something huge is shifting beneath the surface. The bigger question that no one is actually asking is this, is OpenAI becoming the new Intel, which is not a semiconductor company, but a company so central to national competitiveness that governments may soon have to support it. As we know, Intel was saved with Chips Act billions, subsidies, tax breaks, energy guarantees. So if AGI becomes foundational, then compute, data centers and models become the new national infrastructure. And here's the sharpest proof to that as yet. SoftBank just sold its entire NVIDIA stake to go all in on OpenAI. Not because NVIDIA is weak, but because OpenAI is becoming the center of gravity in the AI economy. This actually creates a new flywheel, which is OpenAI trains on NVIDIA, SoftBank funds OpenAI, NVIDIA supplies OpenAI, then OpenAI drives demand for NVIDIA. SoftBank profits and reinvests. This pretty much gives us all a very clear idea that it is a closed loop power cycle, the modern equivalent of what Intel once had with the US government, foundries and defense ecosystems. SoftBank's upcoming $22.5 billion investment at a $260 billion valuation is very clearly strategic alignment and isn't just venture capital. The hierarchy is shifting. So here is what we've done for you, which is we try to well map it out. And here it is. NVIDIA is equal to compute. OpenAI is equal to intelligence. SoftBank is equal to capital. Governments is equal to regulators. Energy grids is equal to bottlenecks. Data centers is equal to battlegrounds. So the companies that sit at the center of these loops, well, become untouchable. That's what Intel used to be. And we all remember that. And that's what OpenAI is becoming. And of course, we would definitely like to know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.